Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Morgan and I'm so happy you're here. And today is a really special video because we're talking about books, which are one of my favorite things ever. I realized this week that I had not done a book video since October and obviously since I read fast, I read a lot of books. I figured there were a lot of books that I needed to review and give my recommendations on. So I have a list right here on a sticky note. We're gonna talk about a couple books and what is on my reading list as well. So first I wanted to start off with like the self-care books slash financial planning books. I think I told you guys that I got the Total Money Makeover um, by Dave Ramsey last year. I ended up reading it in the fall. It was good. Um, I think it's as good as a financial planning book can be. I think financial planning is such a personal thing and it really interests me because I'm in the school of business. Um, I love talking about like finances and just like how that works, how each individual person does it. That really like, interests me and like the system of it. So that aspect of the book really interested me. Now taking his advice and putting it into my personal life, I kind of take everything with a grain of salt. I don't think that um, a book should dictate how you know your life to work best, especially in a financial setting. So I think there are parts from that book that I can definitely take in recommendations. And I would recommend it to someone who's looking for guidance um, in the financial world or even if they're just interested. And the second book I'm talking about as well is called The Latte Factor. Um, my financial advisor gave me this book as a gift and it was really good. It was only about a hundred pages or so. It was a fiction book that was that revolved around finances. So it still wasn't boring. It still told a story, but it still got across financial planning tips and how things work. So I definitely recommend it, especially if you're a beginner to like financial planning. Um, and it was really easy as far as it being fiction as well. Third book I want to talk about, we're going in a completely different direction. It's called Gentle and Lowly. This was gifted to me by one of my best friends for my birthday this year. Um, it's a Christian book, a Christian guided book, and it made me think about so many things. I wrote everywhere in this book, highlighted everything that spoke to me. There were so many things in it that I think are important for Christians to hear and it just really centered me in um, my relationship with God, especially at the beginning of this year. So I definitely recommend that to any Christian reader, even non-Christian readers, if it interests you. It's a pretty easy read. The writing style, I would say, is so easy to follow and it flows really nicely. Okay, moving on to fiction books. I realized that I've never talked to you guys about Verity by Colleen Hoover. I read this book, I think, the week after I filmed my last book review video. <sighs> this book blew my mind, as does all Colleen Hoover books. She is one of the most amazing authors I have ever read and I can't get over it. If you are at all into thrillers, into suspense, into mystery, you need to read Verity. It's so good and the whole book you think you have it figured out and then at the end your mind is just blown and you're like oh my gosh i had no idea like i read this book in about i think seven hours or something i got it from the store and i finished it that day because it was that good i cannot put it down so i can't recommend verity enough and i cannot recommend colleen hoover enough either all right so the next book i have is all the light we cannot see and this book I have mixed feelings on for sure. It's a historical fiction book. It centers around World War II and it's basically how two people find each other, a blind girl and then a boy that is a soldier. And I think anyone that is interested in historical fiction would love this book. Personally, it's not something that I typically connect with or uh, choose to read. I personally read it because it's really recommended and also my friend found it at 
a book resale shop for like five dollars so I was like might as well read it um if you're into historical fiction or at all or you are at all interested in World War II I highly recommend it if you don't really care about those things uh I don't recommend it I definitely think that they could have cut a couple parts out of it it felt a little bit like it went on and on the chapters kind of stayed the same and even in that sense I felt like the writing style was still unique so I think the writing style was good there was just a little bit too much in the book more that needed to actually be in it next series I'm going to talk about is uh, the deal series by Elle Kennedy I know I say this all the time but this is actually one of the best series I've ever read it's such an easy read but it also is so interesting and entertaining and just so good to read. The series follows, there's four books in the series and then there's like an extra book at the end. Um, it's kind of like a spinoff. So the four main books follow four different friends that are all on the same hockey team. Each book is about a different friend on the team and kind of their love story. The, um, a hockey a college hockey team um and then the fifth book is about like where all the relationships are at um in the future like a couple years down the road it was so good l kennedy's writing style was so good although i will say the first book was my favorite and i felt that nothing topped the couple that was in the first book and but the other ones were so good. I've seen reviews on TikTok and I feel that everyone has different opinions about what their favorite couple was from the books, but I definitely uh, ship team Garrett and Hannah over anyone else. Next book I have to talk about is Believe Me. This is the last novella. I don't know if it's gonna be the last one, but it's the most recent novella in the Shatter Me series, which you guys know that I 100% am in love with. I read those 10 books in, I think, two weeks? I don't know. It was last year, and that series, like, has my heart, and they, it was a good ending or a little bit of a closing to the series. However, it's a novella, so you can't judge it based on like the good, huge books. I think she needs to end it here. I don't think that this series needs to be written about anymore. I feel like the characters have achieved like closure. Uh, but definitely, I would say read the Shatter Me series from the beginning 100%, especially if you're into dystopian type books or fantasy type books. Uh, such a good read. Next book I'm reviewing is November 9th by Colleen Hoover. I feel like at this point you just hear that name and know that I'm obsessed with it. I try to judge all of her books separately and really form opinions about if it's good or not like on my own without comparing it. However, I finished this book in like a day as well. I started it in a morning and I finished it that afternoon because I just couldn't put it down and that wasn't even my intention. November 9th is a really good romance story. It, I don't want to spoil anything because it's definitely, um, it's definitely worth the read. So I would say read it. That's basically all I have to say. Next book I read, which is the most recent book I finished, is Circe by Madeline Miller. I so badly wanted to like this book and I just couldn't. This is the same author as Song of Achilles and it nothing happened. Nothing happened. I'm so confused. Like what was the point of it? Uh, the, I, this is probably one of the worst books I've ever read and I hate to say that but it was awful and I really if one of you have read it I want to hear if you liked it or not because I I did not it was nothing happened the writing style was too long and lengthy she would go on these huge tangents that didn't even need to be there she could have done so much more with it and she obviously did it so I'm just gonna leave it at that I don't recommend it unless you want to read it to have a debate with me the book I'm reading right now is they both die at the end by Adam Silvera that's how you say it I am about a quarter of the way through. It's 
so interesting. I think this is going to be one of those books that changes my perspective on life, regardless of how much I enjoy the story or not. So basically, like in this society, the day you're going to die, you get a call at midnight that day. And it's from like, it's called like death cast. And they call you and are like, hey, just to let you know, like, you're going to die today. We can't tell you what time or how, but you're going to. And so these two guys, like, meet up because they both got calls that they were going to die that day. And they, like, live out one day in an adventure. But, like, I know it sounds really depressing, but I'm 100 pages in. And it, I feel that it just makes you think about how you choose to live each day and make the most of each day. And... Yeah, I, I haven't finished it yet, but I definitely think that I'm going to like the whole book. And I think it's so funny that he named it this because it's like, it spoils the whole book, but I'm like, I'm debating in my head. I'm like, are they actually gonna die? Like, I don't know, but I think it's so necessary to think. It makes you think about life and death and making the most out of every situation. So I'm really excited to finish this one. I actually really enjoy the writing style as well. It's a little bit simple. It's a little bit more young adult style, but definitely worth the read. So those are all the books that I have to review. As of now, you can see it right there. Um, I have Daisy Jones and the Six. My friend found it at a resale bookshop for $2. I'm really excited. I hope I like that one better than The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo because it's they're both by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I wasn't the biggest fan of The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. However, one of my best friends was obsessed with it. So I think it's just a difference of opinions and storylines. So I'm excited to read that one. I also have a book at school right now called Dating Dr. Dill. And I hate the cover. Like, I don't know what to think about the cover. I hate when there's people on covers of books. It's especially if they're like real people but I also hate when they're cartoon people I just feel like the cover is really cheesy so we're gonna see what I think I got it for book of the month club which I had some free credits for from a gift card for Christmas someone gifted me so we're gonna see what I think of that one so that's about it right now i talked for a long time about books can you imagine i know it's my favorite thing in the world so um i hope you guys enjoyed the video so much give me all your opinions if you've read these books if you haven't if you have recommendations i love to hear them so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys